Morning Prayer on Friday the 27th of March. This is Reverend K. Dyer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory be to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 102 O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me, in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. When I call, make haste to answer me. For my days are consumed in smoke, and my bones burn away as in a furnace. My heart is smitten down and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. From the sound of my groaning, my bones cleave fast to my skin. I am become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl that haunts the ruins. I keep watch and am become like a sparrow, solitary upon the housetop. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who rage at me have sworn together against me. I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with weeping because of your indignation and wrath. For you have taken me up and cast me down. My days fade away like a shadow and I am withered like grass. But you, O Lord, shall endure forever and your name through all generations. You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is time to have mercy upon her. Surely the time has come. For your servants love her very stones and feel compassion for her dust. Then shall the nations fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has built up Zion, and shown himself in glory when he has turned to the prayer of the destitute 
and has not despised their plea. This shall be written for those that come after. A people yet unborn shall praise the Lord, for he has looked down from his holy height, and from the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the sighings of the prisoner, and set free those condemned to die, that the name of the Lord may be proclaimed in Zion, and his praises in Jerusalem, when peoples are gathered together, and kingdoms also to serve the Lord. He has brought down my strength in my journey, and has shortened my days. I pray, O my God, do not take me in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They shall wear out like a garment. You change them like clothing, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not fail. The children of your servants shall continue, and their descendants shall be established in your sight. Have pity on our family, O God, and in the hour of our death cast us not away as clothing that is worn, for you are our eternal refuge, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Exodus 6, 2-13 God also spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as God Almighty, but by my name, the Lord, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land in which they resided as aliens. I have also heard the groaning of the Israelites, whom the Egyptians are holding as slaves, and I have remembered my covenant. Say therefore to the Israelites, I am the Lord, and I will free you from the burdens of the Egyptians, and deliver you from slavery to them. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm, and with mighty acts of judgment. I will take you as my people, and I will be your God. You shall know that I am the Lord your God, who has freed you from the burdens of the Egyptians. I will bring you into the land that I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I will give it to you for a possession. I am the Lord. Moses told this to the Israelites, but they wouldn't listen to Moses because of their broken spirit and their cruel slavery. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Go and tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the Israelites go out of this land. But Moses spoke to the Lord, The Israelites have not listened to me. How then shall Pharaoh listen to me, poor speaker that I am? Thus the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, and gave them orders regarding the Israelites and Pharaoh, king of Egypt charging them to free the Israelites from the land of Egypt. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities, and now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. 
I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Hebrews 10, 26 to the end. For if we willfully persist in sin after having received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful prospect of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has violated the law of Moses dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by those who have spurned the Son of God, profaned the blood of the covenant by which they were sanctified, and outraged the Spirit of grace? For we know the one who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But recall those earlier days when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and persecution and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion for those who were in prison, and you cheerfully accepted the plundering of your possessions, knowing that you yourselves possessed something better and more lasting. Do not, therefore, abandon that confidence of yours. It brings a great reward. For you need endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised for you. Yet in a little while, the one who is coming will come and will not delay. But my righteous one will live by faith. My soul takes no pleasure in anyone who shrinks back. But we are not among those who shrink back, and so are lost, but among those who have faith and so are saved. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Gospel Canticle Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Let us pray. We continue to pray for all those suffering in any way from the COVID virus. We pray that those who work in the hospitals, care homes and other places where people are being sheltered and cared for may be strengthened and given your blessing as they continue their work. We pray for those who are in self-isolation, that they may find more friends who ring them or email them or keep in contact through various things like Zoom and FaceTime. We pray that those deeper relationships that are growing amongst the community, even though we cannot see each other face to face, will continue to be there after this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer for today, we remember Mabase in Nigeria, Bishop Chamberlain Ochenedo Ogawendawari. We also remember Wari in Nigeria, Bishop Christian Azili Ede. We pray that these bishops may be strengthened and upheld as they look after their diocese and care for all those in their area and that those that work with them, bishops, priests and deacons, may know God's love for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we thank God for the provision of the mission fund and for the support it has offered to many churches and deaneries in their projects and efforts in mission. We pray for continued access to support and enthusiasm for making new disciples in all areas of this diocese. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. From our parish prayer diary, we pray for those who live or work in Martin Close. We pray for Mark Lorenz from the electoral roll and his love and care for all those in the church and willingness to serve in any way he can. And we remember those from the parish staff in the office and volunteers. Rebecca Rumsey, Sarah Cushing, Wendy Stanheimer and Kath Parrington, giving thanks for all that they have been doing at this difficult time, working from home as well as perhaps at first in the office and how they've had to transfer many of their files across so that they could continue their work. We pray that you will bless them. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who've asked for our prayers. Diana Wilkinson, Joan Rogers, Lawrence Salmon, Anne Rainsbury, Manolo, Andrew Rainsbury. And any we know particularly in need at this time, as we have a moment to remember them in our own hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the recently departed, Reverend Neville Vima, Frieda Brown, and in the year's mind, Winifred Bratchelor. And again, any we know who have recently died. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. And may those who mourn their passing be comforted by your love, O Lord. And the collect for today. 
Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness we may be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>